So obviously there's wooden cladding at the top there, which we can see that would have been right across with it. Uh, well, what you can see there is timber, that's that as it was. This, where the framework is now on the sides, that used to be a, a metal cladding. But, and as you can see, all the light fittings, ah, they've yeah. actually been strapped up because what happened here not so long ago, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> there was somebody, you're not gonna believe this, here's a true story. My wife was in here swimming one day and one of these six foot fluorescent tubes over there where those steps are came down and landed about six foot away from her. Good God. And what they had to do, what, she wasn't the only one in the pool at the time, but she just happened to be the one that landed the closest to, because straight away I said, well, surely you fell over and screamed a bit. She said, no, I just <laughs> got out and got changed. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she uh, they had to, when they went up to, to check out the fittings, because of corrosion and stuff over the years, most of these fittings were getting a bit precarious. Good so the boys had to go. You can see that walkway that's up there yeah. that runs right across alongside the, the lights. Yeah. Had to go up and strap all the light fittings up, and at the same time, they realised that a lot of the cladding was getting a bit dodgy, so they actually sh shut the building for a couple of weeks, took the cladding down, and redone the lights. So that's just another little tale. Did that light fall in the water? It didn't smash on the. Uh, it smashed on the side of the, the pool, tooth. the glass went in the water, and every time that happens, of course, is you have to drain the pool. Of course. And it takes in about a week, I think it is, to actually drain it and something similar yeah, to fill it to again. Tip, yeah. So because of one six-foot fluorescent tube, it's a couple of weeks out of business. Yeah.